guys do you have any doubt any question regarding the day 3 and the day 2 of this content hardware and the storage and the hardware part do you have any doubt till now if you have any doubt so definitely you can ask any question regarding that otherwise we will start uh, the day 4 content right that is the main focus you choose I don't have any doubt. As of now, do you have, if you have any doubts, so you can ask. Okay. Let me open this. So from yesterday, I think I have shared the one of the link uh, which is regarding the, uh, the some video link, I think, right? So if you guys uh, watched it, so inside that video, everything was there, right? Uh, related to the basic network concepts and uh, some network instructions as well, right? So uh, we have done this, this kind of uh, pictures from yesterday only, right? Like how if we if we type the www.google.com, so how the request will be comes on the Google server and how the Google server will be able to it, right? So let's talk about the network essentials. Like uh, we are giving any output, but how can I uh, how how my my computer or the, my laptop can understand that language? Basically, we are going to talk about the number system. So this number system basically, see my laptop or my computer can understand the language of 0 and 1, right? 0 means off bit, right? And 1 means on bit, right? So uh, what are these basically, uh, guys, you, know, you guys also know that the bit byte and uh, MB, TB, right? These are the things, is the normal things. We are not going to discuss that like uh, what is the bit and what is a byte right and once we are going to configure any IP address or on the Cisco devices so we will cover these parts as well right but let's uh, let's discuss these things first of all right now we have the binary convergence right we have the three types of number system which is binary decimal and hexadecimal right so uh, this binary is having the two bits right either it is uh, we have the two numbers over there right and what are these two numbers we have which is the first one is zero and the second one is one right which is I have told you over there the one one means on bit and zero means of bit over there right if we talk about the decimal so we have the total number of uh, the decimal value which is uh, which is we have uh, sorry the octal right I think we have done this things. so uh, but we are we are going to uh, discuss these things right like we have the 10 numbers over there it suppose the 10 numbers and what are the these 10 numbers we have 1 sorry 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 right so basically uh, these are the things uh, that we have related to the 10 numbers inside this after right which is so for that right and now if we talk about the hexadecimal so uh, so uh, we have sorry uh, this is your this is your this right sorry this is your octal value and this is your decimal and this is your hexadecimal right so just understand these things first okay so we have the 16 number of this hexadecimal value right we have the total number of hex, uh, hexadecimal value which is we have 
16 and where it's going to start it's going to start at the same number right but we can count 10 as a a 12, uh, 11 as a b 12 as a c 13 as a d and 14 as a e and f, 15 as a f right so total number of value that you can also count it as a uh, as a hexadecimal value right now this is your 10 11 12 13 14 and the last one which is we have 15 right now let's talk about the uh, the number convergence that we have right like how we can uh, represent any value in a zero and the one format right now let's talk about the IP addressing like we have the two kind of IP address right we have basically let's talk about the addresses first right so we have the two kinds of address which is first one which is we have the MAC address and the second one which is we have IP address right so this IP address uh, we are going to calculate this IP address like how we can configure the IP address over on the Cisco devices and other local laptops as well right the MAC the MAC uh, the MAC number the MAC address which is we have the which is we have the you can say that uh, this is your physical address right you cannot change it you cannot modify it right cannot change it can't modify it also now if we talk about the IP address so we have the two parts of IP address which is which is we have the two version over there which is IPv version 4 and the IPv version 6 right if we talk about the IPv version 4 so that has the 32 bit number system and that have the 128 bit number system right now let's talk about this first one uh, which is the IPv4 address right why we need this IPv4 address and uh, where we can use it right now the first question is why we use IP address now anybody tell me that why we use IP address or where we can use it right anybody can tell that why we use IP address yes see uh, you can also say that but there is a one more option uh, the IP address why we use it because of it is the uh, it is the one of the address that we can identify our machine in the local network or the internet as well right now let me just write it down the, the things which we have it is used to identify identify the machine in our network or in the LAN network right LAN network you can say that order over the internet as well. right so uh, easily we can identify uh, with the help of this IP address we can identify our laptop or PC right because of see you have the internet connectivity right now see we have the connectivity just like that we have the lots of PCs over there right these are the PCs that we have right but how these PCs we can identify that that PC have this particular MAC address or the IP address, right? The MAC address would be the different, right? But you cannot uh, like justify the MAC address like what is a MAC address in the LAN network because of this is your local area network or you can say that that is your internet network, right? So if you are using internet or if you are connecting in the LAN network, so you must have the particular IP address of that particular network, right? 
then you can uh, easily take the access of any file folder which is you required over there right now let's talk about suppose that that have the uh, th this this pc do not have any ip address right so this cannot attach like this cannot have the any any of the access in their network right because of this is our LAN network, right? That IP address is required, most required. That must have the IP address, right? So that is why we use this IP address to identify our laptop, our PC in their LAN network or, or over the internet, right? Okay, just do one thing. Uh, just write it down these things first. Okay, then we will talk about the number system, like how we can convert the number system binary, binary decimal and right okay so everybody done that so let's talk about now the number system right now we have the lots of number systems such as uh, we have basically the four types of number system right let me just this this case right if we talk about the number system that oh, we have the we have the four types of number system, right? The first one, which is we have decimal, right? Not the, the binary number. So the binary have the two two digits, right? You can uh, you can say that two bits, okay? And the second one, which is we have octal, right? That octal have the eight bits. Right, or do you consider eight digit? Now, the third one, which is we have the decimal. Right, the decimal have the ten bit. Right, and the fourth one, which is we have hexadecimal. That is have the 16th base or the 16th number right so these are the things that we have and uh, basically if we talk about the base and all the things so uh, how you can calculate the base and what are the numbers that you have right that would be let me just describe it so the, if we talk about the binary numbers so we have the 0 and 1 right and if we talk about the octal, so we have 0 to 7, right? Now, if we talk about the decimal, so we have 0 to 9, because of we have total 10 bases over there, right? And the hexadecimal, which is 0 to 15, right? So these are the things that we have related to the any numbers, right? Now, this 0 means off bit, and this 1 means on bit, as we just discussed right now let's talk about if i will give you that any number and i'll tell you that you have to convert that number into the binary number right suppose that i just give you the 78 right that is the number and that is what kind of number it is basically that is uh we we can also divide these numbers right like uh we do not have more than the 10 numbers right if we have the 10 Visit such as uh, such as 100 or more than that so in this case what we can do uh, we can calculate this value as a or if we have any name right such as uh, suppose that we have the 10 a right and if I will say that convert this number into the binary number so how you can calculate that first of all you have to see that what kind of number it is either it's a has decimal value or the decimal value or the octal value right so according to this value we are going to calculate these numbers right now this is what this is the decimal value right because of you can you can divide the particular word number over there right such as we have seven we have eight we do not have any uh, a alphabet channel right if you have any alphabets so that number we can only calculate or we can only uh, describe as a hexadecimal value, right? Such as you can see over there uh, that any any of the any of the alphabets that if you get it, so that that number consider as a hexadecimal number, right? 
Now, this is our decimal number, right? If I say that, you have to convert this number into the binary number. So how you can convert that? And you have to assign that particular IP address in that number, right? Now, let's talk about the IPv4 first of all. We have the 32 bits of the number system, right? Now, these 30, 32 bits is uh, is just divided into the four, uh, just four parts, or you can say that uh, into the four numbers, right? Now, we have uh, in a one octet, right, which is we called it octet. In a one octet, we have eight bits, right? Each octet have the eight bits. 8 bits right and the 8 bits now we have basically 32 bits mean to the power 32 so total number which is we have uh, the 256 right or the 255 that uh, that value well value right less than 0 right so uh, this is this is all the total number of this calculation right whatever that value or whatever the bits that you have that always goes to the 2 the power right so just like that over there we have to the power 32 bits over there means we have uh, we have basically that 255 value in a one octet right now let's talk about these bits how we can calculate these bits first of all and how we can divide these value in a, uh, in, a in a one octet right so and what are the what are the calculation that we have and how we can uh, divide these value in a one of uh, in in, a, in assigning IP address. So we have 128 plus 64 plus 32. Like the total bits that we have to count as a eight, right over there. So we are going to calculate the eight bits over there. And for the for the uh, calculating of these eight bits we will get this number right that is into the one octave right now 32 plus 16 8 4 2 and 1 right so you can also count it that is the 8 bits of the number that we have right and you can calculate this value uh, as a total value of that we have the 255 right so in a one octave we can uh, we can assign the maximum number which is we have the 255 in a one octet right so if we talk about the one octet phase and uh, these things so we have the lower value which is we have the 0 and 255 in a one octet right right this is the one octet to first octet to you can also see that right so always that you have to follow uh, if you if you want to recognize that your IPv4 address so always you have to follow the first octet to recognize that which class of IP address we have right now let's talk. if we talk about the classes of the IP addresses so we have uh, the we have basically the five class of IP address right now class A class B class C class D and class E right we will also uh, cover these parts as well right once the IPv4 parts will be there so we will also cover these parts as well right so as of now just forward these things right and just total focus on these number systems only right we will also talk about the IPv4 part and the IPv6 part like how we can assign the IPv4 address and how we can calculate that IPv4 address and, and, and uh, calculate the binary numbers as well. How we can calculate, uh, how we can assign this binary number and, and all this, right? So first of all, we have to understand that how we can calculate this decimal number into the binary number, right? Because of that IPv4 address have the 32 bits, which is the maximum value of this and one octet, which is we have the 255, right? So these are the things that we can ha we have it, but how we can calculate these bits uh, this decimal value in a binary number right so the most important part a uh, part of this value which we have the binary number convergence right now let's talk about the these things first right but that rule would be safe 
right just like the same that you have the same value which is the 255 right so over there uh, if, you, if you will if you will have the more than 255 value so that is going to consider as a decimal value or lower than as well right but that should not be 0 and 1 right so make sure that you do not have the 0 and 1 value if you have so that value would be considered as a marginal number right so you must have the more than one value right or more than uh, one or more than one value so that will consider as a decimal value or the octal value right now let's talk about this 78 so how we can cover this 78 just write it down these values right we are going to count, uh, calculate these number in the ip address right So uh, how we can calculate like where this my require is uh, comment is going to fulfill to following this steps. So uh, that number is more than one uh, lower than 128, right? So we have to off that bit, right? And does uh, this number can uh, can consist in under this 64? Yes, right? Because of that 64 is uh, lower than 78. Right now, how many bits that we require now? We require the 12 bits, right? As you can also count it over there, right? So, uh, these are the things that uh, now we have the 12 bits. So, where is my 12 bits is going to fulfill to following these, uh, these six or these six numbers, right? So we have to off that bit because of uh, that 32 is more than 12 right the 16 is also more than 12 right now 8 that we require and 4 we require right and the rest of the bits would be 0 right so this is our binary number right what is it this is our the binary number convergence of that particular value right how we can connect this with following this rule, right? Now, what would what would what would be our binary num number for uh, for this number calculation? That is zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, and zero, zero. Right? That is our binary number that is being converted, right? If you convert these number uh, such as um, whatever the number that we have related to this, if you wants to convert this one, so how you can convert it? Suppose that uh, we have uh, yes, simple uh, one where I can what we're talking about. Yes. Mm, are you talking about this? Just calculate that value first. 64, right? 64 plus 8. How much? 72, right? Uh, yes, I think we, uh, you are right, right? So 72 plus 6 that we require, right? So that is that is uh, that would be our uh, the binary number. Sorry for that. Okay. So that is the value. Like this is how you can convert these values in uh, in the binary to uh, sorry in the decimal to binary or the octal to binary. Number, right. Now let me give you that one more number and you have to calculate that number as well. Suppose that you have um, just guess any number, guys. Tell me any number between these two to twenty-five that we can calculate this. So now the one thirty-three where this required is going to fulfill. Uh, now let's talk about these rules, right? Now what is the rule that we have? Let me guess. 
there is one particle, right? So uh, the required which is we have one particle. Now, if we talk about the following these rules, let me just write it down. 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 3, and 1, right? So the 128 is uh, is is under this 133. Yes, we have to own that bit, right? Now, the 133, uh, you can also do one more thing also over there. Uh, you can decrease this, uh, this 133 number uh, by the 255, right? So whatever the value that you will get it, uh, that, that would be, Now it's fine. Okay, uh, so let we were talking about these numbers, right? So the maximum number that we have, uh, which is 255, right? So this 255, uh, we have to uh, decrease this by the rest of the value, right? Whatever the value that we have, we have to decrease this by that, right? Uh, just forget about this rule. Uh, we will we will go with the simple rules, right? That you can also understand. The 128 now. Uh, how much required that we have after after uh, after doing on this bit, right? If we talk about the 64, so that would be uh, like very more than, right? So we have to off that bit, right? Now 128. If it, if we calculate this 32. Uh, with the 128 so that is uh, I think more than 133 right so we have to also half that bit as well right if we talk about the 16 so that will also more uh, that will also go more than 133 right so we have to again half that bit now how much required if we calculate the 8 value over there so that is also goes more than 133 like it goes um, I think 136 right so only the three bits that we require right let me just 128 plus 4 right so if this uh, this requirement is going to fulfill yes and 0 and 1 right like you can also calculate these values as well right the 133 means 128 plus 4 how much one, uh, sorry, 140, 140, uh, 132, right? And 132 plus one is equal to 132, right? So that is, uh, that is your binary number, right? That is your binary number. This is how you can also calculate this, and you can also take an example, uh, just like the any any kind of number, you can take an example of it, and you can calculate or you can convert these number into the binary number as well right so this is this is our binary number what was that what was that zero uh, sorry one zero 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 and one zero one right so this is our binary number that is uh, that is we have to convert to one third of the value so this is how we can also convert that and uh, this is this is the rule that you can convert any number any decimal number into the binary number right so guys uh, if i will give you some numbers and you have to convert that number into the binary number so you guys can do that easily let's let's do that right let me just give you the numbers that you can also uh, practice on that you can also do the practice on that and uh, easily you can understand that what's going on over there right let me give you the sum number and you have to calculate that number into the place uh, into the binary number right convert decimal into binary right now uh, the first one which is 121 
have to convert that right and 127 253 224 192 right and one more number that you have to convert uh, which is 248 right so convert these number into the binary number and tell me the answer that right whatever the result that you could have just tell me that result right so just convert these number and just let me know what's your complete okay so every guy is just uh, every every guy is doing good and uh, here answers is also correct most most of the answers is correct right so uh, let's talk about the some basic things uh, or the some some easy concept or the some easiest way to calculate these values right now just let me just clear this things. how we can calculate basically uh, we are going to uh, see that the total number of the excitations in the plant is as well, right? Whatever the values that you will get inside that, so easily you can, uh, you can convert or either it's a hexadecimal value or the binary decimal value can be, uh, or the octal value, right? So let me write it down. How we can represent zero in the binary form? That is zero, 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 right? And how we can represent one in a binary form, which is zero 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 one, right? Just like two, how we can represent it zero zero one zero, right? As a three, how we can convert it zero zero one one, right? As a four, zero zero. Uh, sorry, uh, as a four, we are going to convert as a zero one zero zero. Let me write it down, right? So easily we can uh, we can do that. Some convergence or uh, either it's a hexadecimal value or the decimal value or the octal values, right? So let me write it down. So how we can calculate each one? Zero one zero one, right? The six zero one one zero seven zero. One 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 eight. How we can calculate that? One zero 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 nine. How we can calculate it? Sorry, uh, one zero zero one. Right. Now let's talk about uh, that hexadecimal values. Now, how we can represent as a a that is zero one zero uh, zero one. And one zero, sorry, one zero one zero, right? And how we can represent as a B that is one zero one one, as a C one one zero zero, as a T, how we can represent it as a one one zero one, as a E, how we can represent it. So the E how we can be presented as a one 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 zero and the F is total one one one. Right? Now if I will give you that any number, so how you can calculate this, right? Suppose that uh, I'm going to give you the some hexadecimal value, right? Suppose that I'm going to give you four a zero one, right? So how you can this is my hexadecimal value. Right, this is what this is my hexadecimal value. Now let's convert this hexadecimal value in a binary form. So just write it these uh, these alphabets or these numbers as a in this format. Right now let's convert the uh, the simultaneously convert the each of the value or each of the number that you have. Right. So how you can represent 4 in a decimal form, yeah. in a binary form that is 0, 1, 
zero zero, right? And how we can represent a that is one zero one zero, right? One zero one zero. The zero would be zero zero zero, right? And one would be zero 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 one, right? Now let's convert. Uh, let's let's just do uh, just just. Just do one thing after doing or after converting these things. Just combine these one, right? So zero, sorry, zero one zero zero one zero one zero 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 and zero 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 one, right? So the total number of the value that is uh, you can also calculate it. This is our the hexadecimal value, right? Because of we have the 16 16 digit over there you can also count it we have the 16 digit over there right so easily this is how you can uh, you can calculate the numbers and uh, this is our what this is our binary conversions right binary how we can cal calculate these hexadecimal into the binary this is the very easiest way that you can also calculate this right now if we talk about the uh, the, the decimal value so you can also calculate this decimal value like that you can uh, suppose that this is our decimal value right 248 right suppose that we have the 248 of this decimal value right so how you can write this 2 as a in the decimal form which is 0010 0, and how you can count and uh, how you can write these number into the binary which is 0, 0100 0, 0. and how you can write it please as a 1000 right now just merge these values right 0, 0, 0010 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1000 0, 0, 0, right so that is your binary number right so you can uh, you can do one thing you can just write it down these one and you can just remember these numbers that is you have right so easily that you can also do some convergence easily whatever the number that you would have easily you can convert it right that is very easiest form to convert uh, any number or uh, either it is you have the hexadecimal value or the decimal values as well right so that is a very easiest way that you can calculate the any number system right so you can also do one thing you can also write it down these, these values as well right and uh, so with the help of these value you can calculate these, any value any any kind of value if you will have you can calculate it easily right so just do one thing write it down these one and just let me know after that we will learn so uh, we will learn the ip v4 accuracy and all right This is uh, right. I have already written down all of the things uh, that would be other. It is the bin binary number, or the octal number, or the decimal number, or the hexadecimal number. Right? These are the total values of related to this number system. Right? Following this step, we can calculate the any number such as you can also see over there. Right? Sorry, I just forgot to. Uh, just this uh, pay the video or the pause the video right so I think that is not recorded but these are the things that we can also do right? you can what you have you have to do you have to write it down that each of the values which is we have or the, uh, it's a, either it's the hexadecimal value or the binary number or the decimal number anything right then you have to write the same things uh, you have to follow the same things that is the number of convergence over there that is written by uh, that is already written over there, right? So you can follow it, you can you can follow this step and you can uh, do some convergence or the register you have either it is you have the hexadecimal value or the decimal value or the octal value, right? Because of we have the zero to sixteen, right? We have the zero to sixteen bit, right? We have zero to sixteen bit. So inside this 0 to 16, uh, that everything will be covered in that, right? 
the hexadecimal value, the decimal value, octal, and the binary numbers as well, right? So everything will be covered in that. So just you want to write it down these numbers, uh, which is required, which is most required, right? And uh, once you complete, just let me know. Then we will discuss the item for accuracy and accuracy and accuracy part of it, right? Like how we can assign the IP accuracy, uh, sorry, the IP address over on the computer and how we can calculate the numbers over there, right? So this will be easy. Guys, I am going to assign you the machine and or on that machine how you have to take the self access. Uh, this, this right, so these are the machines that is uh, you have to do that, right? And you have to just be confirmed that the detail is over on that machine, right? There is your machine numbers, right? And uh, you have to perform the every practical over on that machine, right? This is for my, this is for me, right? And uh, CT1, CT2, and that have the 20. I think here they have the 20 participants, right? Including me. So uh, let me just give you a sign of this, uh, these numbers of these machines, right? This is for me. Right. And uh, now let me just display. This is for the operator. How you guys have to take the access of these machines? Uh, let me just uh, let me just take it here. First of all, you have to uh, open that your remote desktop connection application, which is already included in your uh, in your remote operating system. Right. Once you will click on that, so there will be required of the IP address and this uh, the the, uh, the port number, right? So that is the IP address and that is the port number that you have to press it over there, right? That is whatever the IP address that you have, it is just 145.36.88 and colon, you have to use the colon, right? 9029. So that is, uh, that is my connection, uh, that is my machine. After pressing these things, uh, you have to press on this, right? Then you will get it in the address of this machine, right? And inside this machine, uh, you have to write, uh, like, uh, sometimes that the password and uh, username will be required, right? So you don't have to press that over there, just only you have to write it down the password, right? The password which is times at the rate 2021. Right, so that is the password. Once you will look uh, into the password, so you will have the access of this machine. Right, and over uh, over here, uh, you have basically this is this is basically uh, Windows Server 2012. Right, and uh, if we talk about this uh, this practical part of the networking, so you have to download 
that uh, that application which is the Cisco packet cluster. Right? You have to download that Cisco packet cluster over there. Right? That is the simulation tool. Right? So every everything or the every practical we are, we are going to do that on this packet cluster. Right? that I don't want any excuse guys just uh, just solve your problems by today only right and uh, just do that uh, yes the Saturday Sunday would be off by the Monday I think because of uh, today is the last day and we will have the weekend after that, right? So the problem will be solved within one or two days. So just solve these problems and uh, just download these ones as well, right? So this is how we can take the access and uh, I will let you know that how to download these things and uh, how you have to perform the practical combat. So let me just check that and can do that. Uh, what is the speed of it and what What about the internet speed that you have? It doesn't matter, right? You have to perform that practicals and you have to download. Uh, simultaneously, I will let you know that what you have to download and what are the things uh, regarding the practicals that you have to do. Right? So, uh, as of now, just, uh, just, just let it be, right? And get this with the IP address part, right? That is very important. I will assign this one uh, in the free time, right? And I will assign the machines to right? So don't worry about that. Now, uh, if we talk about the IP address part, so uh, let me just show you this is that we can I can describe all of them. Now, uh, if we talk about this uh, overview of this IP addressing, so we are going to cover first of all the IP addressing overview, right? And then we have to cover this binary and the decimal number system. That that would be convergence into the IP addressing part, right? And after that, we will uh, we will see that IP four addresses and the subnet mask, right? Like how we can assign the subnet mask and what other things that. So as as we have discussed that it's on the 32 bit type of other address, right? This is the 32 bits of the address. Now that have the four octets. It divided into the four octets. So in the one uh, in the each octet that we have the eight bits over there, right? Let me also describe it. 
if we talk about IPv4 addressing, so that is have the 32 bits of the number system, right? So these 32 bits is divided into the four parts or the four octets, right? And how these four octets will be worked? So just like that, these four octets will uh, just look like. In a one octet, you have the eight bits, right? Eight bits in a one octet, eight bits in a second octet, third octet, and the fourth octet. We have totally four four octets over here, right? And how we are going to assign this IP address? Uh, by left to right, we have to assign the address, right? Means we have to first of all fill this octet, and then we have to once this octet will be completed then we have to move on that object, right? So simultaneously we have the some classes as well, right? IPv4 address classes, right? So these are the things that we are going to discuss and uh, all of things, right? So guys, just do one thing, uh, just take a, take a small bit, uh, the small break, right? That would be 25 minute break, and I will get back to you after that, right? And then we we'll discuss this IPv4 address part over here, right? Okay, guys, so just take the 25 minute break, and uh, we will get back to you and we will discuss this IPv4 address and uh, some part of the IPv6 address, right? Okay, guys, uh, we are going to start first of all the IPv4 address, and uh, basically the IP address. So inside this IP addressing part, we will, uh, like where it came, first of all the most of the question, like we are using the IPv4 addressing, uh, IP address, right, IPv6 addressing, IP address as well, but where these are uh, related, like where it came, they, uh, they came from. So basically, we are talking about the organization, right, so which organization it is came from, so if we talk about the organization uh, <coughs> if we talk about the organization so that uh, that INA is the organization where it is came from INA is, is called internet Internet Addressing Number Authority Internet Addressing Number Authority Right? So that is the one of the organization who made these uh, addresses, right? Now, that provides IP to uh, ISPs, right? This organization provides this organization provides IP address to the ISPs. IP address to the internet internet service provider. Right? So that internet service provider uh, is is the one of this uh, this service provider that that is provide the internet connectivity to the users, right? So INA also uh, has developed these IP addresses on the basis of uh, continents, right? Let me also describe it. What kind of IP addresses it uh, it delivered or it or uh, it released? Now let's talk about this IP address, right? So IP address. So what kind of IP address it release? IPv4 and the IPv6, right? So these are the only two. Uh, we also called it IP address family, 
right we called it ip address fan right so uh, if, if we talk about this uh, ipv4 so that we have the 32 bits of that right means to the power 32 bits right ipv4 so in this to the power 32 bits how many ip address uh, we will have in the in the whole world so just you have to calculate by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 at the 32 times right you have to do calculation at the 32 times after that so after calculating these uh, the number that you have which is 4294967296 right or whatever the number if you, uh, you will you will uh, get it so these are the total number of total number of IP address over on all the boards right over on all the boards so basically this uh, this is the only uh, not only that these kind, this kind of uh, that IP addresses that we have now inside this IP address these are the whole world right So basically, if we talk about this IP addressing part, uh, like how we can convert the IP addresses and uh, how how we can calculate the one network or how we can divide the one network into the multiple IP addresses, right? Because of uh, we have the lots of IP over here, right? But how we can assign that particular IP address from this particular PC or for the particular users? So this is the same way that we have binary binary decimal and the hexadecimal and the hexadecimal right so these are the things uh, that is also uses uh, that we can also use the number systems inside that right now if we talk about the IPv6 so that IPv6 has the 128 bits, right? And that have the 10 octets. That divided these 128 bits into the 10 octets, right? But inside this IPv4, it divided into the four octets, right? Into the one octet, we have the eight bits over there, right? So as as uh, as usual we have also the same thing uh, inside the ipv6 as well but we can use uh, these 10 octets for this uh, uh, for, for the for the uh, network and these rest of the eight bits we can use for the ip address right means we have uh, the 10 octets which is uh, the eight bits that we can use it for uh, sorry uh, which is right here. 8 bits is equal to 255 value that we have into the one octet right that is the maximum value of uh, of that we have into the one octet right now let's talk about the classes of this IPv, uh, IPv4 address classes right we just read this these things now IPv4 classes right we have that IP address we have lots of IP address but how we can categorize that uh, like that network or that IP address is belongs from which classes or um, like which category right so that is the only one way that we can categorize the lots of IP address into the classes now let's talk about the classes we have the class A, class B, class C, class D and class E, right? So uh, we have the five classes over there, right? 
in IPV4. Now, we have also the sun brains as well over there, right? Uh, as I have told you that minimum value that we have into the mole after will be zero, and the maximum value that is we have the 255, right? These value uh, will be the same for the IPV4 and at the IPV4, IPV6 as well, right? But inside this IPV6, we have the extra decimal value. That would be the added point in that, right? So uh, just forget about this IPV6 part for now, right? Just let's talk about these things first, right? Now. If we talk about the class A of the IPFS, so we have the range which is uh, 1 to 127, right? 1 to 127, that is a total number of the range of the IPFS. Now, if we talk about the class B, so 128 to 191 and 192 to 223, right? Now, 224 to 239 right and 242 to 55 right so we started at the 1 right because of the 0 uh, where we can use the 0 we can use we can use 0 as a 0 for the default round right we can use 0 for default round right and you also know that guys as we discussed already that zero means off weight but here is the we are using this zero for the default round right we will also talk about that like what is that this default round and what, where we can use it and uh, what are the main concepts that we have of this default round right now let's talk about these um, now these three octets or these three classes that is usable IP address. You can say that these are the usable IP address. Right? We can use these IP address in our local network. Right? But where we can use these two uh, class of the IP address? We can use these, uh, this class B IP address for this multicast property. multicast routing now what is this multicast routing basically uh, over on this multicast routing we have the particular protocol on that right so uh, with using that protocol we can use these addresses inside that protocol right means these addresses only uh, only you can say that uh, is is uh, is just made for these protocols only right these multicast routing protocols only now, if we talk about this class E IP address, so it is used to research and the development. It is used to research and development. Right? Or you can say that the, for the scientific purpose, right? Such as uh, new ISRO, NASA, right? So these are the uh, or the nuclear research centers as well, right? Or the defense department as well. So we can use these class. Uh, we cannot use these class E IP address, right? Because of that is particular uh, particular for these departments, right? Now these are the range of these IP address, right? Now if we talk about uh, the network address and the host address that is we have, and basically these are also going to uh, going to categorize your network as well, right? Means whatever the class that we have, and uh, how we can recognize that IP address from, like which class of IP address it is. Now let me let me show you one thing, and you guys have to tell that which class of IP address that is my uh, my PC have, right? Let me show you. that uh, what were the address that is we have uh, let me just check the status of it now uh, let me take the details right 
so that is our uh, that is my class uh, ipv4 address right so tell me that which class of ip address it is 172.20.10.3 right it is denoted by uh, dots excellent guys class b address right so uh, that is that is uh, that is how we can categorize that ip addresses and uh, we can also assign that IP address with using our uh, some basic configuration of that, right? Let me also show you how you can assign that IP address inside your local PC, right? So uh, there will be a Internet Protocol version 4, right? After that, you have to click on the properties and then you have to choose on that address, right? So suppose that I just assign these IP addresses now. Which class of IP address it is? Tell me that, guys. Which class of IP address? Right, the class C IP address. Right. So this is how we can assign that IP address inside our local address. Right. Now that IP address is configured. Right. You can also check that configuration of this IP address. Right. So that is how we can configure the IP address over on the local PC. Right. So that was over on the your Ethernet cable, right? If we do not have any Ethernet cable, so we cannot use it. Now we have the some uh, some some uh, specific IP address for this some specific purpose, such as 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0. Let me just make it 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. Right? We have the total number of the range which is 255.255.255.255 right but these two uh, where we can use these two uh, class of the IP address we can use these two uh, we can recognize these IP address as a default IP address default route IP address right we can use these these are uh, these out as a default address, right? Default route, right? <coughs> now, one more question uh, that 120, 127 that we cannot use 127 uh, class of IP address, right? Let me also show you uh, that we cannot use the 127 of the IP address, we cannot assign that. If you are going to assign that particular IP address for this uh, 127 for anyone, so that is not going to accept it. Let me also show you that what what will be the error that you are going to get 127, right? So IP address starting with the 127 are not valid because they are reserved for the loopback addresses. Please specify some other valid value between 1 to 223 right so you have to assign that uh, the valid range of the ip address that you have between 1 to 223 right let me write it down valid ip range ip address range that is 1 to 223 now 127.0.0.1 is reserved for reserved for loop back testing loop back testing now what is this loop back testing basically uh, if you are connected with your uh, with your isp or with your internet so what you have to do you have to uh, first of all do the you have to just first of all check the reachability from your internet if you want to check your reachability from your internet like my internet is connected with me or not right so how you can do that you have to first of all uh, you have to open the cmd box over there right the command prompt right and after that you have to type the ping 127.0.0.1 right then that uh, the TTL TTL what is what is the use of this TTL which is we call it time to leave right so time to leave uh, if you will get the TTL value 128 
so means uh, you are you are totally reachable from your internet right means you are packet the uh, you are packets sending uh, that is four and you are also receiving the four packets whatever the packets that you have saved you have sent these packets you are receiving on the uh, on the internet side right means uh, you are getting the acknowledgement from the internet side right if you lost any packet so there will be also you will get these lost packet over there as well right so if you want to check your internet connectivity uh, like the my internet is connected with me or not so you can check with using this command right if you wanted to write it down so you can write it right you have to write the ping and then this ip address right so these are the things that we have related to this ip address part now uh, just let me show you right so these are the addresses that we have over there right now if we talk about uh, that ip address assignment so how you can convert that ip address into the binary number suppose that i have assigned this ip address uh, inside this uh, ipv4 address in file so how you can calculate this ip address into the binary form right so what you have to do now right now what you have to do you have to calculate these number into the uh, into, into the uh, into into the binary form right so i'll give you that uh, the sum of the ip address and you have to calculate these numbers into the binary form right i'll assign this uh, i'll assign the sum numbers of the uh, ip address and you have to uh, you have to tell that binary binary number of that particular IP address. Suppose that that 192 how you can write it down the 192 which is uh, let me just erase these things. Right? So we have the four updates over there. Right? Into the four updates you have to you have basically eight bits over there. Right? So inside these eight bits, what how you have to calculate 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. Right? So just like that, you have to calculate the values which is in the one of in the one of first update that you have the value which is 192. So how you will write it down? 1, 1, 0, 0. That will be value of the 192, right? So simultaneously you have to write it down just like that into the last uh, into the each octet right you have to find it out the value of the each octet right so uh, that is that is how you have to write it down and that is how you have to calculate the values of right so uh, just do one thing just first of all write these things and i'll i'll give you that uh, some task of this uh, the binary uh, ip binary convergence right and then you have to do that okay just write it down these one and just let me know after that and after that we will uh, we will cover the rest of the topic which is the basic network right